Hello friends, I'm Colonel Failure and you're back again on the Transport Fever 2 Peninsula. 2. Oh, I had to. Um, and, uh, yeah, you, you possibly don't recognise this. However, because you're a scientist and, uh, and you understand the clues that are presented in front of you, you may have observed the... Uh, oh, look, there's a C. Uh, you may have observed the, uh, the downward grade that we've got going on. Uh, the fact that we're going around in a circle. We were going around in a circle. I've rather taken too long over this introduction. Um, and uh, and the, probably the name of the episode. And, uh, and you'd have realised we were in a helix. Not just a helix, though. We were in a triple helix. Oh, there's a train. Oh, that's exciting. Yeah. Uh, if you were to uh, find yourself that way inclined, why not, why not hang around for a few moments and, uh, and you'll get to see how all of this was made. It's not a pretty sight. So we're attacking the southwest corner of the mainland here, southeast, south southeast corner of the mainland. I could have another swing at this, but I'm not going to, because uh, uh, I've got what six-ish minutes to fill here, and uh, and quite a lot of the techniques on display have been displayed several times. Um, now, we're always chasing after making something look a little bit different. We've gone with this uh, uh, this two-tier approach. Uh, okay, three-tier approach uh, over here. I was pretty sure, there you go. So with a bit of smoothing in between. That's so you've got, you got a transition going on. Uh, but I noticed moving around the coast, because we're going to put a coastal line in here, that, uh, that actually quite a lot of this coastline would uh, would benefit from looking as though it had been hit by some weather or you know the sea at some point uh, so I, I've given that a bit of a, a bit of a general smooth along now as much as this is a sped up bit of video uh, that was a really quick approach if you crank the, uh, the, the whatnot the strength of the brush up and the size of the brush up you literally need like a click in different areas to uh, to get it to do the thing anyway two towns going in. Uh, we got one down the far end here, which will obviously be the uh, the end of the line. Um, and then, as ever, we're going to try and make it so that uh, there's there's plenty of opportunity for a, a pleasing view uh, as we move along the coast. And then we'll we'll wang that through there. This process was actually pretty flipping easy, has to be said. But I've decided to uh, to run the majority of this a single track. Uh, didn't make sense to me given. That, uh, that I've only placed small towns down there. I think one's medium and the other one's uh, small, or one's medium and one's large. Either way, it's not going to generate a massive amount of traffic. So, uh, so we're talking one to two trains tops, so it's very unlikely anything's going to get held up. Uh, now, coming back the other way, we end up with this span here, which normally I'd get rid of, uh, but sticking in the bridge pillars, I went, you know what? That looks, that looks pretty good. Uh, so we'll double track all the rest of the way up and uh, oh okay we, we've moved on to the next bit where are we now this is Caprica oh that's jolly good now we talked about this last time around is it Caprica or is it Shermer it's, uh, it's a town that we made last time I can't remember We got, uh, there's a long bit at the end of this where I go into all the details you need just just follow along best you can I'll, I'll try and keep you company I mean other channels they, they just bang on a little bit of Muzak and uh, you know, and leave you to it, and go. Oh, that was entertaining. And you kind of go, well, it was all right, I suppose. I mean, yeah, you've you've built something tremendous. But hold on, hold on, I'm making a helix. Now then, the, the, we're we're starting from a point that is very very high up. It's Sherma. It was Sherma. Okay. Um, and uh, and we've got to try and get it down all the way to the far end. As you can see, the crow flies test there went. No, it's not having it. You're going to have to do uh, another helix. I went, oh, okay, I went, oh, what if I were to do the second helix uh, around the outside of the first one? And I went, no, that's ridiculous, it's going too far. So they're kind of, they're kind of offset from one another. Anyway, I reached the end, of the, uh, uh, the end of the turn there. Let's try it again, see if we get there. At this point, I'm, I'm pretty confident that we're going to get there without any, uh, any drama. So, uh, so I'm actually building this out in a way that makes me go, yep, yeah, this, this is a good line. Or am I? No, no, I've, I've done it again. Oh, yeah, because any time you're, you're working along the side of a cliffside, uh, the, the game goes, oh, you want to be going up here, and you go, no, I want to be going down. Anyway, we've reached all the way, and it doesn't fit. And you kind of go, oh, no. I went, oh, okay, all right, well, I've, I, there's not much else I could do here. If I put in a, maybe a languid turn there, 
didn't work. So I thought, right, well, stuff it. I shall go in the opposite direction then. Yeah, no, bulldoze all that lot. That is easy enough to place it the first time. It'll be easy enough to place it again a second time. But we'll, uh, we'll go the other way and see if there is a happy marriage point that we can reach. Because every marriage point should be happy. It shouldn't prove to be too much of a challenge. So measuring at various different stages on the way up going, is it going to fit? No. And as you can see, uh, the solution I came up with was let's do a third helix. Uh, but they've, the, uh, it's, it's like a, it's like a slightly stretched out spring is the, uh, is the shape that we've ended out with. Flipping is, no, no, don't you tell me it doesn't look anything like a slightly stretched out spring. It, it does quiet. Um, and, uh, yeah, and a bit of merger in the tunnel and, uh, Bob's your uncle. Yeah, job done. No, 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 don't put it there. No, no, that's a, oh, don't, are you, really? Really, is that what you, oh, okay, all right, fair enough. Now, the reason for double tracking this side is we're actually gonna run a heck of a lot of trains down here. Um, not least of all, because they're gonna spend most of their natural life going around in circles down at Helix. It's not what you want. Well, no, uh, unless you're a big Helix fan, but I'll be honest with you, most of that time you're spent underground, I mean, it's only a finite amount of fun you can have out of that, I suppose, unless you, you like getting giddy in the dark. Well, who doesn't? Uh, anyway, there we go. I've, it's kind of a bit of a birthday cake we've got going on there. No, no, so it could be. Look, I, it's, it's an off-the-cuff remark. How valid it is, who knows? Right, we now move on to the final part of this uh, exciting sped-up odyssey. Uh, and we're right up against the eastern side of the map now uh, with yet another town build. But with this one, I thought, well, you know what, I'll, I'll try something different again. Um, so I've just built it kind of in a, a sort of horseshoe shape, but I'm really roughing it up. Uh, again, this is not going to be the, uh, I don't know, what's the, what's the phrase I'm looking for? It's not going to be a particularly big town. You'd have to be a bit nuts to want to live up there, frankly. Uh, people will, because, well, I'm going to force them to. Um, but then we're into the age-old question, which is the right bridge for us? I went, uh, that's okay, but I know which one I want. It's just a question of finding it. Uh, but getting across this span, you don't want it look like it's insane. So, uh, so I've, uh, I've added uh, a, a bit of extra height to the lumpen section underneath. Uh, I mean, and the cragginess that has been kind of accentuated there really works quite well. Uh, find, find me the bridge I want. Yeah, yeah, you know, go through all the bridges I don't want. There you go. Yeah, I know we've used it before, but I mean, look at it. Yeah, it's fabulous. Uh, and then just connect it straight up. Now, the good news here is it, it connects up more or less straight away. And then I go, uh, well, yeah, but you've, you've pretty much spent the entire time underground and it doesn't look that exciting. I don't, hold on, I'm still faffing around with this. I'll, I'll discover that it's mostly underground and it doesn't look that exciting in a moment. No, no, that didn't work. No, delete all that back again. Go on, have another, have another swing at it before deciding it's all underground and therefore it's not that exciting. That's it. Good. Now, you, now you've got it. Now, as you can see, the amount of thought that I put into what shall I do instead um, was... I, I came up with a notion here pretty quickly. And you kind of go... Well, looking at this now, I don't care what notion you came up with, I would argue it was possibly the wrong one. I go, no, 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 this is a, this is a good notion. Trust me, it's going to turn out great. I thought, instead of the entire path being underground, uh, let's turn it into some kind of ripped out canyon, chasm, valley gulf type deal type thing. Uh, you will notice that I just deleted the bridge. And then you'll notice I put it straight back in again. Yeah, because the bridge doesn't have bridge-looking endings, uh, but it does. Uh, it does remember which bridge you were on. You see, so you don't. You haven't got to go looking for it again. It's it's right there. So yeah, so we, we won't have this track hidden. Now, if you were a civil en engineer, you wouldn't do that. No, no, you, you wouldn't. It, that would be perilously expensive unless you had a, a minor nuclear arsenal at your disposal. Uh, probably wouldn't have it though. So if, if it first doesn't smooth out, get the flipping, flattening bulldozer out and, and do it that way. Uh, again, judicious use of the smoothing tool to make that look a little bit better. Still a gaping wound in the planet though, isn't it? Yeah, 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 def definitely still a gaping wound. So some further work will be required there to make that look pleasing. Right, now I'm gonna finish up here, but I've got a bit more track work to do and then we'll, uh, we'll pick things up, shall we? 
So what you're looking at here is Erie, which is very much the end of the line. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, I guess it goes no further than this. This is possibly the closest to the edge of the map we've got so far. Um, and from Erie, as you could probably tell, we uh, we built up uh, to go in two directions. So we, we split the two platforms here. Uh, one of them goes up through a magnificent triple helix. I wanted it to be a double helix. Well, I wanted it to be a single helix, and there's uh, no chance. I tried a double helix, and it's still, still too high. I, I, I finally ended up throwing in a throwing in a third helix there and uh, and that that was enough to get the altitude right elevation whichever you prefer really uh it's quite nice it's not efficient no but that's uh, that's okay we don't we're not too fussed about efficient as long as we can make some money here and there uh hopefully offsetting the the, the running cost and as you can see my earnings rate has improved thanks drop drop by 20 million just as i said that my earnings rates improved. We were, for a long time, kind of 60, 70. There we go, we're at 70 million now. There we go, now back to 40. Now, keep talking. We were at 60 to 70 million in the red every year. We're now back towards 40 million. Um, so a little bit further to go, but we've still got a lot to do with goods, and goods is going to make a big impact on things. Um, the second line, anyway, coming out of Erie, uh, heads more uh, more along the side. I've got a bit of smoothing to do here to, to sort out some of these janky edges, but we're not there yet. And uh, and then uh, it hits Pleasantville here, which is a, an additional town I hadn't originally intended to look at this mess. Uh, I intended to make. There we go. Just flip in. Get rid of it. If you can't if you can't have a nice little hillock in the middle of town, then uh, then I'm going to smooth it out. Now, you know, if you can work with it harmoniously and not turn it into a pyramid, then uh, then you can have it. But if if that's beyond your capabilities, then no, I'm getting shot of it. Here, a bit of this, yeah, that's it. That's slightly better. There, yeah, it's slightly better. Um, yeah, it, and this is only a small town. It's a it's a little drop off point between uh, between Erie and its uh, its destination in Mega City One. And, uh, and that's, yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Now, I need to redevelop Mega City 1 Station Complex because while being complex, it's, it's not right yet. Uh, but it's got a few more destinations to hit before I'm, uh, uh, before I'm sold on it. It's still, as a Mega City, it's coming along. Uh, yeah, it's doing all right. A bit of smooth around there. Sometimes it doesn't help, which is why you have to be just ever so, ever so careful with it uh, to make sure that what you're doing does help. But uh, see how there is no traffic. I mean, almost no traffic at all. And, and that is largely because there's nowhere for it to go. No, we've, we've got no road connections. And, uh, and never more is that apparent that, uh, that that's the causal factor of traffic. If they haven't got anywhere to go, they don't bother getting in a car. Uh, then, uh, then if you were to head to, uh, to Sherma, Sherma's going quite nicely. Um, I've uh, obviously I hadn't connected the station last time. I have now. I put in this rather smashing split junction thing going on here, uh, which is which is terrific. Now about ten minutes ago, while I was just putting the finishing touches to stuff before inviting you in through the front door, um, this was rammed, uh, and then I made one change. It might still be rammed. I haven't looked. Uh, I made one change, and that was to put a bypass in up here to connect to uh, to Moss Eisley. Now, if you remember the original uh, the original playthrough on the peninsula in in Transport Fever, uh, the three uh, the three prophets, whatever you wish to call them, uh, were more or less merged. They were they'd uh, they'd kind of blurred the uh, the lines between them pretty effectively. There you go. Let's turn those traffic lights off. Given that most of these are going to be turning uh, right at this junction, it shouldn't hold anyone up too significantly. And we might be able to flush this queue that we've got going on in both directions, which is very helpful. In fact, no, look, see, look, this is how you know if you, if you flush the queue or not, is you up the tempo. And, uh, and if you see if the back end starts moving forward, all of this merging traffic's doing me no favours. But that's OK. It's a little bit chaotic as far as junction goes. Um, but I am, I'm getting the sense that we're going to be pulling in the end of the queue here. Yeah, look, see, look, this queue was down to that street. It's now pulled all the way in. We have created a second queue here. Uh, I could probably alleviate that by dumping the traffic lights as well. And this one's pulling in as well, but only ever so slightly. 
actually and now that one's gone this is moving even faster so that's all good now it's getting held by those traffic lights fine we'll get rid of them look you only need traffic lights if there is traffic to uh, to change the priorities on uh, when that's less the case you can just let it free flow and everything works out a little bit more smoothly so says i uh, right. Okay. So moving up the uh, moving up the way here, uh, this now links out to uh, to Moss Eisley. Now the the centre of Moss Eisley has gone absolutely bananas. None of these are assets that I've placed. No, this is this is Moss Eisley building itself. I mean, look at it. It's a monster. There's the ICE now. But when we built this last time round, uh, we were we were losing money on that hand over fist. Not anymore though makes uh, it makes eight million uh, every uh, every trip because it's now fully stocked with uh, with passengers uh, so this is the traffic that i was alleviating this roundabout system that i've got here these two roundabouts um yeah that was a bit exciting by which i mean it was gridlocked all the way around there bypass that's all you needed they just needed a different route to get between the town so that they weren't forced to go this way uh, that of course has helped the uh, the commuting stuff that I've got going on. It's all it's all panned out pretty well. Uh, this looked better when I made it earlier. Yeah, it doesn't look that way now because the AI has built a bunch of stuff and it's made me road all wiggly. It's still within wiggly tolerance, just about if we don't look at it too closely, which we are doing now. Um, but uh, oh no, hold on. This this bit here hasn't helped. Get out. There you go. Look. There, see, that's not wiggly anymore. It's a bit steep, maybe, but it's not wiggly. The AI will stick that back in in a sec, I imagine. Um, anyway, that brings you down to Caprica City. Now, as you can possibly tell, I've built a lot of track here at Caprica. Now, where it goes at the moment, or rather what we're going to set up in a, in a bit of train action in a moment, uh, is, the, uh, is the brand new Caprica to Ambridge route. Uh, we've also got to do Moss Eisley not Moss Eisley, uh, Mega City 1, out to Erie. I've, I've saved you those as a bit of a treat. You're welcome. I might even do that from here. No, you can't. It's got to stop at, it's got to stop at Caprica, otherwise it will get confused. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. So I've also, I mean, as you can see, I've got a bit of siding action going on here, and I've had a cunning wheeze for one of those. Not one of these, but, but something of this kind. Uh, we've got the engine shed going on there. Uh, this one heads down to somewhere. That, that that's the um uh, the, what's it called uh, the, the the holy trinity which it, it's now the holy trinity featuring eerie uh this one goes out to ambridge which we'll take a look at in a moment because it's slightly novel uh these ones don't go anywhere yet but they will do i am going to make caprica city our focal station thanks tree yeah yeah focal focal station this is going to be yeah absolutely we're going to we're going to work up uh passengers we're going to work up freight as well so this is going to need to be redeveloped but the junctions i wanted to get right for starters so we're going to build a load of stuff over here uh in the next couple of episodes we'll we'll put in uh, probably three or four towns over in that direction and uh in this dip in the middle is where we're going to do all of our oil yeah that's going to be good. Uh, and then this way, we cut through the mountain range that we've got going on there, uh, which will lead out to what will be Rapture, which will be down in the bottom, and we'll have logging going on around there as well. Probably stick in a couple more towns uh, along the way, just to kind of fill things out. Uh, Alpha Complex, obviously, has got a, a beefy old station, but it doesn't really go anywhere at the moment. So uh, so we'll, we'll resolve that in the fullness of time. Uh, Raccoon City could easily hook up onto here. Also, it could. Why don't you do that? I, I probably will. Give me a chance. Um, anyway, so there you go. That's that's what we've built. You saw how it was built, which was lovely. Oh, Ambridge. There you go. Up in the mountains is Ambridge. Uh, and uh, it's it's sort of come out okay. It's only a, uh, it's only a medium town, this one. Uh, didn't want it to, uh, to get beyond being a, a kind of uh, a very minor settlement. Uh, but I did want it to provide enough passengers uh, to, to warrant having trains going up here. Which, obviously, we haven't got any passengers on the go at the moment because we haven't built the trains yet. Let's build the trains. 
Okay, no, this is going to be a this is going to be a very simple point to point for now. Uh, later on, this will come a rocketing down here, and we'll go through Caprica, and then we'll head out to to one of the pieces of action going on there. See, I think this looks good for oil because it's it's a slightly darker tone. Yes. Mm. Um, right. Okay. Good. Now, I, I also need to stick a. Uh, I'm going to do it now, uh, just because I'm here and I might as well get on with it. Uh, we're going to stick a, a quick commuter route here at Ambridge as well. Um, I've got the bus stops in at either end. I might as well stick the uh, the intermediate ones in there as well. Yeah, good. You got a depot for not for about a thousand miles. Okay, well let's let's put a depot in then. There you go. Have have yourself a one of those. And uh, ooh ah ooh where? Well, I want I want it somewhere where it's not going to get in the way of of potential growth. You could bung it on the end of here. It's going to look dreadful. No, it's not. It's going to look fine. There you go. See, that's not so bad. Yeah, all right. I suppose you're right. There you go. Yeah, that's it. You know, nothing the smoothing gun won't solve. Uh, right, okay, let's... Uh, new line. Yep. Okay. Yep. Sherman Annex. It's not Sherman Annex, though, is it? No. Obviously, I built that before I put the the, uh, uh, the, the town in. There you go. Easy peasy. This is a, this is a good one. This, I think... Uh, I think two buses will do the trick nicely. Yeah. Right, okay, so this is Ambridge. Ambridge uh, to a commuter. Easy peasy. All right. What's line one when it's at home? I don't know. Where is it? Uh you go from Sherma Transfer. Yes. Did I not finish this? I thought I did. Nope. Well also it doesn't make any sense. Yeah, you hadn't finished. Oh, I hadn't finished. Oh, all right. Okay, we'll do this. I'm going back to Ambridge in a moment. Yeah, I know. It's like watching a magpie at work. Um, right, let's uh, add station, because this was going to be quite a complicated one, if I recall my own mind at all. Um, yeah, it is. Uh, then we'll go around and hit that one. E possibly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just, just do it, and then we'll we'll work out the the ins and outs of the situation afterwards, uh, and then down to that one. Yeah, and then over here. Yeah, you've done this wrong. Yeah, I have. What's wrong with me? Why would I put this? I was clearly when I place my my bus stops. I usually think about. I'm usually kind of drawing the uh, the route that they're going to take in my head at the same time. Uh, you could do that. Oh, hold on. Yeah, no, no. Let's do this. Right, and then go back this way. Yes, because that makes sense. Yeah, it does. Alexander Road doesn't, though, does it? No, it's in the wrong place. It should be here. Why would I put it there? Do we really care? Well, probably not. Okay, we'll carry on. Then back to North Road, and then back to Park Lane, and then back to Sherman Transfer. Again. All right, okay, so that's number 14. So then we go 13, 12, yeah. Uh, 11, please, wherever that might be. 11, yeah. 10, yeah. 9, yeah. 8. Where's 7? Seven? 7. All the way up there. Uh, who knows? 6. Yeah. 5. It's it's a mess. Look, don't look at it. 4, yeah. 3, right. 2, over there. Park Lane gets a lot of action, so does North Road. Well, that's okay, because these are kind of these kind of critical areas. Well, I'd say Park Lane probably isn't. Yeah, it probably isn't because it's right close to showing the transfer. Anyway, that's that done. Yeah, just it, it's fine. It's fine. This is uh, Sherma commuter. Right. Okay. Good. Uh, as luck would have it, I've got a depot nearby. Now that's going to need ten on there. I reckon. You might go, oh, you extremist, and I go, no, 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 no. It's definitely going to need ten, uh, given how many different stops there are going on there. All right. Buy vehicles. Uh, let's go with the Volvo. Alright. Ten. Yeah. It's never going to make a profit. Do I look like I care? Got him. Bye. Thank you. Alright. Sherma commutes. Go. Right. That's going to cause quite the traffic excitement for a few moments. Uh, so we'll head back up here. This is going to need three. In fact, two would probably be enough. But I'm going to do three to keep the journey time down. We'll go with the new flyer, will we? Why don't you use uh, this uh, this exciting Russian number? Oh, all right, okay, and do four of them. Oh, all right, okay. Yeah, 
there you go that'll that'll keep your commuting wait time down uh while at the same time you're using the little russian number i've used the little russian number before but uh you know i'm always willing to uh, to give it another outing it's a very very curious size ratio this but you know what i like it anyway because it's got the uh the, the roof so that you can see the brutality of socialist uh, you know, architecture going on I love that it's numbered oh that's terrific what well on mod person mod person you have knocked that out out the park putting the vehicle number on the back brilliant that's very good very good indeed excellent look at this look look we're gonna sling something up here now uh, now this is a straightforward point-to-point -point job all right because we go Ambridge yeah uh, and then uh, to uh, Capital City. Bosh, bosh, job done. A uh, couple of signals we wouldn't go amiss here. Uh, anyway, this is sure Am Direct. There you go. Yes, like, you know, the new naming conventions, they just, they just trip off the tongue. Uh, right, if we stick a signal on here... Yeah, okay, that's not upset it. I don't know, I've expected it to upset it, but it hasn't. And then we'll stick another one. Now, this this section in the middle here, not finished with it yet. Needs a bit more work. Uh, but originally, you can you can probably tell, uh, it had a ruddy great tunnel going through it. And I went, you know what? I've done lots of ruddy great tunnels. I'm going to gouge a path for this out of the uh, out of the landscape. And then I'll I'll figure out a way of making it work. Now I could conceal quite a lot of the. Well, really, you amaze me. Is that what you've done? Yeah, all right. Uh, I could solve quite a bit of that by uh, by a judicious application of the tree cannon, um, just to mask it here and there. And I might well end up doing what's this? Who allowed this? This is not on. No, 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 no. Yeah, I know it's broken, but there aren't any trains on it, so who gives a monkeys? Uh, give me that. Give me... Uh, ooh, yeah, yeah. Well, you, I've ended up just using the stock high-speed stuff for quite a lot of this. Yeah, it's not into it. Okay, what if we do that? It's into it. Okay, fine. Needs must. But you can't have a bit of free dangling track. It just looks wrong. Look, especially when I've got Pillars McGee going on here. I mean, it's, it's not even a contest. Now, this is a, actually a pretty quick route, so I could I could just stick a high-speed something on that. Yeah, that'd be quite good fun. All right, I'll get on with it. Well, go on then. Okay, just check that it's doing what you anticipated. But why wouldn't it? I put one-way signals in. It was always going to do what I anticipated. Uh, right, let's buy a, buy a train and sling it up there. Uh, Multi-unit electric, please. Now, what have we not used yet? Was that the ice? It was the ice that I was using there. It wasn't anything else. What about speed dance? You don't use them very often. I know it's vanilla, but uh, yeah. Or, or the TGV. I could do the TGV or Shinkansen. No, let's use the TGV. Why the heck not? All right, which uh, which variation are you into? The, this one, the one that comes with it. All right, got him. It sh I should have more than enough space for that to happen. And uh, there you go. You can go... Uh, where are we going? Sham. The Sham Direct. There you go. It's rolling. We made that happen. That's the thing that just occurred. Uh, now, if, I don't doubt that I've got this wrong in a couple of places. Or rather, I'm missing a, uh, a connection or three. Um, it should be pretty close. And as you can see, it's not complaining about being unable to reach the path that it wants. So, uh, so evidently, it's it's worked out reasonably well. There you go. Yeah, yeah. L to the GV. No, teacher to the GV. I should say. Sorry, I get confused with the other thing that I do sometimes. Uh, right. Go on. Floor it. It's only going really, really slowly because this is a really slow piece of track I put here. You don't want your depots flinging stuff out at stupidly high speed. Now, let's talk briefly about freight, shall we? There we go. That's that done. <laughs> I'm so very funny. Um, no, no. I want to talk about freight because uh, one of the things we're going to do from Caprica is just outside Caprica will be our main freight freight hub. And I am going to do shared lines uh, between freight and passenger. And what I'm hoping 
is that I'll be able to set those up in a way that will mean that I, uh, I enable passing tracks. So freight will pull off to one side. So if there is a, a passenger train coming up behind it, if I get the signalling right, the passenger train should be able to overtake. Don't know, tricky one, but it could work out quite well. That's, that's very appealing to look at. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a huge fan of, you know, monstrous large electric numbers, but, you know, that's very appealing. And you might go, what's this track three all about? Nothing, nothing. No, no. Track three is in there because uh, that's a platform spacer. But I might do something excitable with it in a bit. I've even put a signal on there. I don't know what it's for. No, I, I just build stuff. <laughs> I don't know what it's for. Uh, but at some point, it might do something. It might. Look at the, uh, look, uh, Muscle Isley is looking very nice indeed. If they would build out a little towards the station, that would be nice. But um, I'd, I won't mind too much if they don't. Because uh, this is this is flipping um, Caprica that's, that's built underneath the bridge that divides the two. They don't care. They don't give them monkeys. They don't, they don't, they don't give them a fig, frankly. Right. Uh, we'll ride the TGV in a minute. Uh, uh, but before that, I want to get the uh, new route from Mega City 1 down to, uh, down to Erie put in as well. Right. So, yeah, let's talk about next episode, shall we? Because uh, we I've still got a bit of this to do, but... You've seen me put roots in before. It's it, this is hardly it's hardly brand new. That doesn't connect. Interesting. Nice no, because it can't back up on itself. There you go. If we go down to here, then it will all be fine. There you go. There you go. Right. Good. Now uh, yeah, let's talk about freight. Um, uh, that's what we're going to do in the next episode. Uh, is we'll uh, we'll put in the oil route in the next episode. Um, yeah. Yeah. We will. Uh, uh, intercity uh, yeah and uh, and that should be a live build so rather than me having uh, gone away tinkered and basically built the thing we'll we'll do that one as a uh, as a you can watch the sausages being made as I'm making them yeah have we got enough signals on there yep have we yeah yeah look you've done the signals oh that's very decent of me yeah, now all you've got to do is find a depot. Now, that's going to be slightly more of a challenge. Uh, let's have a quick check and just make sure we're not sharing a platform here. You're sharing a platform here. Oh, that's no good. Yeah, because you've got the, the split going that way. If you had the split going the other way, you wouldn't have to do that. Okay, all right, I'll fix it. Uh, get rid of that. And that should have told it it was upset. It has done. Uh, and then put it this way instead, and then it can go into a different platform. You're probably going to need to educate it to the fact that that's what you've done. Yeah, I know. There we go. Right. Still upset? I'm upset. Yeah, I know. Uh, I'm, we just need to change your platform here at MCO. We'll change you over on a plat one. There you go. Now, you, now you're delighted with life. But that means that you're not sharing a platform with anyone else. Because what we have here is an awful lot of turning services, which is rather fantastic, even though I say so myself. What have we got in there? Five. Very nice. Uh, yeah, everybody changes at Mega City 1. Great. Okay, now, how are you going to put a train on there then? Because um, I'm pretty certain this bit of track doesn't go anywhere. Yeah, it does. That's got the ICE on it. Hold on, does it? Why, why are you looking at that? There you go. It's got the ICE on it. Oh, yeah. So it does. Yeah. And it's uh, and it's a single track. It's a single track number as well. I'm only we're only one train on there. Yeah. I ask, that would explain why it's making money then. I could probably afford to run a second one. Could you though? I don't know. Let's have a look. Uh, how many of you people want to head up the uh, head up the hill there? Uh, Peninsula first primary. That's nicely stacked. Uh, MCO ME, where's ME? Moss Isley has got 100 waiting. That's pretty good too. Yeah, you probably could afford to run a second one. Uh, RC intercity has got 65. The HV intercity has got 147. This is good. This this station is well and truly rammed to the rafters, to the, to the gills. How are you going to put a train on there? Stop celebrating that it's rammed to things and uh, and stick a train on it. 
Well, there's nowhere for a depot here. No, I can't use the depot up in uh, the, in Caprica because it doesn't go the right way. No. See, it would have to get to Mega City One first. Now, I could probably I could make that work by sticking in uh, a track bend, a track bend. Yes, a bent piece of track. All right. Well, let's give it a go and see what happens. Stick it in here. If it looks horrible, we might change our minds. It's got a lot of curvature. How much curvature, though? Too much. No. Oh. Uh, oh, ooh, ooh, hold on. We could come off from here. I don't think it'll get past that point section, though. Oh, and also it looks really awful. Doesn't it, though? Yeah, it does. <laughs> it looks terrible. Um, all right, new plan. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, I see what you're doing. Yeah, do you want to tell the people at home what you're doing? Yeah, it's really easy. Uh, Going to add a station here. Yeah, which station? This station. All right. Uh, and then I want to change you round in order. Oh, fooey. Uh, Mega City 1 as the second stop. Come here. Where are you? Mega City 1. That's, that's, a, that's a bit of road. Yeah, did I get that wrong? Well, I mean, there's getting it wrong, and then there's getting it completely wrong. And in this case, you got it completely wrong. It's just at a station, yeah, that one. Okay, and then when it gets there, couldn't connect all the stations. Yeah, it can. Yes, it can. Uh, stick that on one. There you are. Good. It's, it's still broken. Uh, yeah... It's going to be one-way signals that are causing it to be broken. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Now, how? Why is why is it doing that? Shouldn't be a problem. Ah, ah, ha, ah, ha, 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 ha. No, it shouldn't be a problem. Shouldn't be a problem. You should be able. You should be fine. You, if we go MCO two, like that, it should be okay. You. It might not work. Then you're going to need to change the platform up. Let's see if we can get this to work. Uh, yeah, over here. All right. So, uh, buy a train. I'll put the. I'm going to put the old speed dance on this one. I'm going to buy a pair of them. Uh, yeah. There you go. That twice, please. Yeah. Are your stations long enough? I don't know if they are. You know, if they might not be. All right. Bit of Russian. We've used it. Used a bit of Russian. Why don't you go shopping for some more trains? Bang the metro liner on there for now and then do something more inventive later. All right, okay. Right, uh, two, please. All right, slap this on the new one. Oh, that's MCOEE. -E. There you go. Right, once they get to MCO, you can check, or even once they get out of Caprica, you can change the path. Okay, all right. There you go. Come on, come on, come on. All right, come. Right, now, one of the things that I need to do among the things that still need to be done in the remaining six or so episodes uh is uh is i need to uh, i need to change up the the kind of passenger stuff that i'm running and uh really work on the efficiency of it all because uh, right now it's it's just not efficient we've got to wait for the second train to do its thing uh and then we'll be away come on clear off i don't care that multiple vehicles are in poor collecting condition i'll fix that how many are you packing there, friendo? 64. That's not really going to cut it, is it? Given that the TGV is a bit of a wretch for making any kind of money at all in the first place, have we broken this? Or are you just waiting for the TGV to leave? I'll take you've broken it for 50 points, please. Uh, yeah, hold on. If we put a signal on there, it might help us. Has it? No. Okay. All right. Yeah. Because you're you're sat there going <sighs> in, a, in a kind of passive aggressive sort of way. Uh, have we got this doing some kind of both sides of the track madness? No. You should be able to go then. There's nothing blocking you. Oh, hold on. This is purple. It's not green. 
Uh, yeah, but even so, I should be able to. No, it, it, it's got to find a. It can't, it can't get to where it wishes to go to. All right, well, go to one. Can you go to one? No, it can't do it. You sure? What if I were to tell you to turn around? Uh, go, to, go to one here. That's it. Right. Have a word. Turn it around. There you go. Right, get confused somewhere else. In fact, I fixed it. Right, good. Yeah, well, you will have fixed it when the second train's done. Yeah, you get a wriggle on. We can't have that complete its loop uh, before uh, before we've we've told it not to come back to Caprica, otherwise they'll be held to pay. That's a good point. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, you're, you're holding up all of these uh, little holy trinities as well, which is uh, which is far from ideal. Uh, let's uh, let's let's stick a cheeky signal just on here just for now so we can at least get it out of the shed that shouldn't have worked no it actually hasn't worked it's just that the way that timing has has gone off there has uh has led you to believe that that worked when in fact it didn't all right okay keep going keep going this is all this is all fine it's all gonna be good it's all going to be good that's it. You're coming in now, Groovy. Okay. Now, the signalling in this convoluted section of track, I, I haven't really touched it because we're, like, it's not the time to be touching it. All right. As soon as you leave the station, son, I'm changing your route. No path. Try doing this. Yeah. Try, try doing that. Go on. All right. Okay. What we need to do here is we need to switch. Oh, no. It's not going to work. It's it's not. It's go, it, it is. It's going. It's going to work. Manage vehicles. Yeah. Okay. Uh, no. Manage manage the line. That's it. Uh, then manage the line. This used to be so much easier. All right. So to go to two. Yeah. And then grab that. Yeah. Turn it around. Right. It's not happy. Tell it to go back to one. Yeah. And then turn it around. That worked last time. Oh. <laughs> Meanwhile, the other one is probably tearing its way down the track, going, Woohoo! I'm about to be on the new line. And you kind of go, Are you? Where are you now? Have you have you blocked my uh, my ICE? I rather expect you have. Um any sign of it anywhere at all? You could look it up. I could look it up, you're not wrong. Where are you? Uh, no, that's uh, hold on, that's that Mega City One Main. It's not. You're looking at the wrong one. Okay, all right. Well, let's uh, look at 74. Where are you? It's on its way out to Pleasantville. Oh, knickers. Um, all right, okay. Well, look, stick the brakes on. I like your thinking. Right, and then move the train window so you don't forget that you've got one out there with the brakes stuck on. You just go now. Just, just go. In fact, if we manage the line... Yeah. And then we delete Caprica. Yep. There you go. Off you toddle. Off, off you, off you go. Woohoo! It's only because I didn't place another depot. Just, I know we were trying to do the same thing again, but it, sometimes it's worth giving it sixteen different tries. You know what you could do? Oh, I don't want to. Just do it. All right, hold on. I don't want to. Just flipping do it. All right. Okay, here you go. Yeah, if it'll make you happy. There you go. We'll just grab a bit like that. And we'll do... Go on, connect. Construction's not possible. Oh, just, would you? Grab that over onto there. That's it. Just put it in there. It's in the tunnel. No one will know. All right. And away you go. And away you go. The flipping is a path of electricity. I just built it with electricity and everything. Would you please get on with it? The other train managed it. What's your problem? Are you special? Come on. Go. Go, 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 go. Go, go. Go, go, go. Arrgh. All right. Okay. That's all right. No, no, no. Let's not become uncalm. All right. What's, what's causing you trouble there, Flower? Do you need some? Do you need some more junctions going on here? I can I can bang some in. I'm sure. What's that one? 
That one's already slipped. Yeah. Uh, as is probably the next one as well. Because I'll have slipped as many of these as I could. Oh, hold on. Maybe you can't get over there. Well, how did the last one do it? Might have been in a different, uh, different whatnot. Well, that's, that's not helpful. I need you there, clown, to go over here. Yeah. Like this. Yeah. 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 Onto that one. Do you? Yeah. I do. I definitely do. That's where I need you to go. I can't get there. All right. Okay. Well, that's that's a different kettle of fish. You can get going again, by the way. There you go. I'm happy with you. You you can live. Yeah, it must have come into platform one last time. But you can't do it from platform one either. How did it do it? How did it get over there? Hey, you see, now you now you're asking the big the big questions. I'm not. I'm asking a very simple question. Also, we haven't seen the ICA in a while. Where has it gone? You raise a you raise a valid point. I know I raise a valid flipping point. Where is it? Um Alright, well if we can get over to oh where can you get over to? Uh you trundle out a platform two. Yeah, you take this junction, yeah, which could send you up that way or that way. Yeah, okay. And then this one, that's not you can't slip those. How the heck have I done it then? How have you done it? I, I, I couldn't honestly tell you. All right, well, okay, look, there does seem to be a, a, an opportunity for a fix here presenting itself. If we do something like that, it doesn't work. If we do, wait, if we go from about there and do something like that, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it, like that, yep. All right, and then wang that over there like this. There you go. All right, it doesn't look completely out of place either. Looks a little bit out of place though, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Right, you, clown, get to work. Yeah. There you go. Yeah. This leads us to a question. And that question is, how did the last one do it then? That's very strange. Yeah, it is. Also, I was expecting an ICE in here. Does the ICE not come here? You know, I don't think it does. I don't think it does either. Although it should do. Uh, should it? I don't know. Should it? I don't know. That's what I'm asking you. Should it? Where is it? I don't know. All right. Talk to the station. You've got the Holy Trinity and you've got the Sham Direct. In that case, it shouldn't. No. Okay. Well, where does it go? What does it really matter? Uh, I, was, I want another one of these, please. Manage a vehicle. Yeah, give me another two. Steady. All right, give me another one. Because we've got that many passengers waiting there, it would be foolish to leave them sat there doing nothing. Uh, it's the MCO ME Direct is where you want another one. Uh, is that train running? I have a feeling we might have broken it. No, it's definitely running, look. It's definitely running. It's full up. It's full to the full to the gills. Should we build another one? I think that would be foolhardy. I don't think the track is configured to have more than one. Leave it alone for now, and uh, and we'll we'll review that later on. Let us. Why don't we just go and make sure that this has started to kick off? Yeah, there we go. There's a train. Good. Otherwise, this episode's going to be really long. Yeah, because you, your chuntering's gone on for forty minutes, and uh, you were only planning on doing twenty of that. Uh, anyway, we've got passengers. No, oh, we've got quite a few, as it turns out. Nicely, nicely. Uh, yeah. Bit of camera view. I don't think it's going to be the greatest camera view you've ever seen, but let's let's give it a minute and uh, and see where it ends up. Because you you never know. Uh, as ever, we've we've built a bit of nice mountain pass, coupled with uh, a bit of a bit of a sea view, coupled with some cheeky tunnels. Yeah. Oh, and a view of the bridge. That's nice. And look at that impressive place down there. Where's that? That's uh, Angmoorpork. Surely. I didn't think it had gotten that big. No, me neither. How's it gotten that big while I wasn't watching? That's probably what happens when it wasn't watching. There's the uh, Angmoorpork Stadium there. That's that's quite delightful. Yeah. Good. Right. They are just trundling away. Enjoying, enjoying the view. Oh, yeah. 
Oh, that's, that's, all, that's all very jolly. Um, but the, the, the whole point of this series is to make things where you kind of go, oh, that's very jolly, as you as you enjoy a bit of a view. I do need a, a bit more uh, time investment in, in tree placement and other, uh, other assorted scenic items. Uh, but beyond that, it's uh, it's nice. This is all good. It is all good. Isn't it good? Yeah, it's all good. Right, we'll wait till we come out of here, then we'll go ride the other one, and then we'll uh, we'll call it a day. There you go, in we come. It's absolutely ruddy heaving here in Mega City 1. Yeah. No, there you are. Smashing! Alright, no, hey, let's go turn around and go back the other way. We, we, we need to update all of this. All of this needs updating. It, needs, it probably needs to be a bit bigger. Uh, but the... the the end goal will be that it is uh, that it gets properly busy here, you see. And one train in at a time. That's that's not gonna cut it. But we'll we'll get there. Alright, let's uh, let's shy away from that. I still need to put a passenger liner in uh, from Port Erie. I'm just gonna go Port Erie over to uh, uh, stop off maybe at, at Ankh and then head over to Waterdeep. But I've got quite a few that do the Ankh Waterdeep route already, so I might not do that. Uh, right, where's the uh, where's the Canyon Express, which would have been a much better name for it. Here he is. All right, okay, good. Canyon Express me. There you go. I've been Colonel Failure. Uh, I'll be back soon with the next instalment of this thrilling exposition of train-based uh, cheating modes, activity-based things type deal, and and we're the, we're getting close. Yeah, I'm, when I said I was going to do twenty, I'm not kidding. I'm going to do twenty. And then I'll have a live stream at the end of it, uh, where uh, where it's a bit of you know all request, maybe a little bit more uh, a little bit more dabbling, um, and uh, and then maybe a tracks and beats. Yeah, that's that's where we're going to go with it. This is quite good. It's not got a passenger count though, so it it will have the passenger count if I add a a third and maybe fourth station into the mix, which we'll do later on. We're only doing eighty miles per hour, and we're at TGV. I say shambles. Yeah, I know. It can't be helped. Yeah, we're just going to wait until we see the big bridge and then we'll we'll sign off. And then, then you know, everyone could go about their business. All right, give it a mo. Here we go. Here it comes. There we are. I know we've used this bridge before, but my gosh, it's pretty. Thanks very much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'll be back soon with another one. Cheerio. All right, I'm going to keep this short and to the point because this has taken quite a bit longer than I anticipated and I'm a bit late on the day of delivery. Obviously, if you're watching it a day after the day of delivery, you don't give a monkeys one way or the other. Uh, it's worth it, though. No, no, no. I'm very pleased with what I've come up with here. How I'm going to integrate it with anything is anybody's guess, but uh, phew, I'll, I'll make it up in the same way as I always do. Uh, anyway, good. That's it. No, that's your lot. Uh, subscribe or, or don't. Uh, but if you have subscribed already, good. Thank you subscribers don't, don't press the join button go on do it go on yeah